Hey friends, it's Shara, and I have a blanket reveal for you, and there's actually two babies under there. Um, I did want to show you little Charlie, still not feeling good. His fever has come down, but he's still a little out of it, so... He's not coughing or runny nose or anything, so I'm not too terribly worried. And you can see Sweet Pixie is there helping him stay comforted, so super cute. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in. Now these are little babies, but I do have them propped up just so you guys can... Um, see them better okay I normally wouldn't have a baby in this position okay let me start here okay so here's baby's feet little frog legs <laughs> so I guarantee you have seen this sculpt before all right, let's go to hands, very distinct hands. Beautiful. She has painted so well. All right. We ready to see who this is? Does anyone know who this is? <laughs> One, two, three. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Ruthie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so. I had sold Ruthie. Um, I had been so infatuated with her from afar when I saw her on my friend's um, YouTube channel. And I got the opportunity to purchase her and I jumped on it. I was so excited. And I just wasn't feeling it when she got here. Um, there were other things going on. I, pretty sure I think I had gotten some other dolls or I was anticipating other dolls plus I had been really emotional with my grandson the night before so um, just a whole lot of circumstances and I I mean I valued her beauty and her um, and her sculpt uh, the uniqueness of her sculpt but I just wasn't feeling it and I, I made the decision to um, sell her um, right at the time that I um, purchased, uh, just right, yeah, right at the time I purchased Sonia. So um, she went to her new mommy. She sold instantly when I put her up for sale and she sold and went to her new mommy and her new mommy, you know, loved her and that was great. Well, then a friend of mine uh, that I've met through, uh, you know, a dolly friend of mine, um, got me on Instagram and said, oh, this baby would be a good sibling for um, Sonia. And I think because of the unique face and, um, you know, they just have similar coloring and stuff. And I, and I said, well, I used to have that baby. And I'm like, that's weird that she's posting her. And it was really quick after she had bought her and she um, was using some of my pictures so I went on to make sure it was a legitimate um, a legitimate listing and it was and she had just decided to sell her she was making another purchase and um, so I bought her back um, I wanted to help her out so she didn't have to worry I knew I had had other people that had said they wanted her so I knew I wouldn't have a problem selling her again and um, so that that was that you know 
and um, so I bought her back with the intention of selling her. Um, I was that's why I didn't do a box opening. Um, I was, you know, she was coming back, and I was going to sell her again. And when I got her out, it was like that infatuation I had had for her from afar came back with me having that absence of um, having her here and then coming back. And I was like, wow, I don't want to get rid of her. <laughs> I'm not selling her. She, I love her. And she was just wearing a plain sleeper. It wasn't the outfit. Sometimes the outfit, you know, when you're looking at babies online, sometimes the outfit can really kind of uh, play into the overall feeling you have for the doll. Anyway, um, she was just wearing a zipped up sleeper, so it wasn't, um, you know, this cute, adorable romper that her auntie sent with her. Um, so now I just say she was on vacay in Arizona, and she's home. She had her spa life there. She got massaged and was in the spas, and I think she got a mani-pedi with her auntie and she took her shopping and she had some rest and relaxation and now she's home so yep she's here to stay um i'm not planning on selling her so <laughs> i think that's really funny um i just saw her in a whole new set of eyes a whole new light um and uh yeah, that's how it is. So, little Miss Ruthie is back. And for anyone that doesn't know, she is the um, very rare uh, Tasha Sculpt by Jessica Shank. She is a sold out limited edition of only 500. So, she's back. Little Ruthie. Little Ruthie. Ruthie means friendship. Well, I named her Tisha Ruth um, because Tisha means um, joy and Ruth or Ruthie means friendship. So she's Tish Tisha Ruth, but I'm going to call her Ruthie. And that has changed just a little bit. Her name was Ruthie, but I, um, I just wanted to change her first name to um, Tisha. Um, because I felt so much joy when I got her yesterday, so much more than I had felt the day I received her. And, and it was circumstance, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that all came flooding back when I um, saw her yesterday. And that joy just was like, yep, she's staying. <laughs> so here she is, this beautiful girl. Oh, she is so beautiful, that pursed lip. Let me see, I'm gonna, well, I'll put you guys in uh, close when um, I have them both revealed. All right, guys, so let's go on to the next baby. All right, guys, so the next reveal is an eBay find. And I wasn't really shopping, I guess I was, because I was looking. And I know how that um, how that gets me in trouble, but you know it's what I do when I'm stressed or I'm sad or I'm bored, <laughs> you know. And I stumbled upon this doll, and the pictures of the doll were not flattering, but the name of the artist just. I just automatically, my eyes locked in on this doll. And then the seller is someone I've bought clothes from before. A big seller on Facebook has over, you know, 3,000 feedback, um, positive feedback. So I went to the artist's website, and this doll is two years old, but I went on the artist's website and I had a doll from this artist. And unfortunately, that doll personally didn't work out for me. 
Um, but um, I knew the artist's work is impeccable. And so, um, and the, mostly the reason that one didn't work out is it had the limbs, it was a real born and it had limbs that I just don't like. Um, anyway, so um, I went on the artist's website, I scrolled uh, back a couple of years and I found her. And so I saw the artist photographs and such a unique sculpt and um, and like I said I knew that the uh, seller was reputable and everything I just wanted to make sure this doll was for me and one thing about this um, artist is I only had one doll from her but everyone I've talked to we don't know where she gets this hair it is the most remarkable hair it feels different than any other doll hair uh, mohair real hair alpaca that I've ever felt and um, and the way she roots it is astounding it really is so the photographs made her look like the baby's hair was dried out or frizzy um, that the photographs that the um, that the seller had posted. But upon looking at the artist's po uh, pictures, I saw that what you think looks like frizzy or dry is variations in color. Um, lighter colors can sometimes look frizzy because the light is catching on them. Um, so this doll has a frame of very light, a you know, frame around her face of very light hair. So her hair isn't dry. Her hair is absolutely like incredible. Um, I haven't even learned to style it the way the artist had intended, but you really don't even need to. It's like a, it's perfect. It's a typical new baby that has quite a bit of hair, um, the way their hair is, the, um, the feel of it, the just everything about it. So I didn't do a box opening for her because again, I wasn't positive how um, this box opening would go. I didn't know if she was going to come out, you know, I, I just didn't know. And if I was going to immediately sell her, then there was no reason to do a box opening. And um, Pixie's back to uh, take care of uh, take care of our little boy over there. Um, and um, and I I could not pass up the price that she um, sold her to me for. I, I mean it was incredible. So I am just extremely like pleased with this baby girl. Um, I couldn't be more pleased. I um, was almost giddy yesterday when I was like, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And um, she is truly um, beautiful. And um, so I have um, named her Pepin, <laughs> Pepin Nadine and it means my hope so here she is oh my gosh she is so cute oh baby girl you say hello you say hello her hair is like i can't even describe it it's softer than a newborn kitten's hair oh my gosh look at her she has these beautiful brown hazelly eyes, her gummy um, grin, her mouth has moisture. She's got these gorgeous dimples. She's got unique hands. I really love, I mean, look at the detail. I'll bring you in closer in just a second. Um, the details in her hand, hands and feet are incredible. Look at this. Look at the wrinkles and the, so the sculpt is beautiful. 
and the sculptor, um, it's Maya Babies, and this is actually the kit Maya, M-Y-A, by um, Maria Giordano and Alejandro Fedriani. Um, and let me make sure you guys can see this. Um, and she's number 84 out of 1,000. So by Maria Giordano and Alejandro Fedriani. Yeah, that's right. So it goes by uh, Maya Babies. That's how it, um, I think that's how it's listed on McPherson's. Um, and she was reborn by Tisbina Natalia, who is absolutely incredible. And um, she was done July 11th, 2018. But you guys, isn't she so cute? Hold on, I'm gonna get you closer so you can really see these girls. Let me scoop. Let me scoot Peppin over more. All right. Let's turn you so you can look at your new aunties and uncles. Oh, you're... she has kind of a sideward glance, and I like that. I haven't had a baby with that before, so I kind of like that isn't she stunning you guys and i wish i could ha have you feel this hair this is and look it's just the way that natalia has done her rooting that she just has remarkable hair incredible uh, probably the well it is the very best hair i've ever seen um, and this is now twice. Um, she's the reborn artist who did my Pearl, who I absolutely loved Pearl. She was gorgeous. She made me cry. She was the first doll that made me cry. But I just, I could not stand her limbs. Um, they just, I couldn't pose her. I just felt so limited with her. And that's when my artist friend and I, um, had met up and she loved her so much and she didn't mind the real born limbs and you know a great friendship was developed as well as you know we traded so anyway as she does a beautiful look at that face you guys oh she's so gorgeous I just absolutely Oh, I just couldn't believe that I got such an incredible baby on eBay. Um, I have just really been so fortunate with um, finding incredible eBay um, uh, purchases. So she's just incredible. Just incredible. I don't know if you guys can see her hand, the wrinkles. She's kind of got it in this kind of position. She's really cute, really cute. And she's about the same size as, um, as Ruthie. So they're, they're similar in size. She's just a little more chunky of a girl. And, um, and Ruthie is just more of a, um, a trim, thin, dainty girl. So aren't they gorgeous oh my gosh so happy and um i actually have um other than the two babies that were returned to me the gabigail twins um that was a sale that um i don't want to go into it but the buyer sent them back and um and i have those two dolls still um, um and if they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. I am trying to reduce my numbers, but you know, I don't, I'm not that worried about it. If I need to start 
kind of rotating babies. I can store babies in the pack and play. Underneath the bassinet insert, I can wrap them in some clean white um, flower sack towels or blankets, I have a bazillion of those, but the um, white flower sack towels are nice. They don't seem to attract the dust like the microfiber blankets do. I think I have to go again, hold on guys. I think I'm good and I, with the Gabigail twins and with the two customs that my friend is still sending, and I did purchase a prototype um, a while ago. It's coming from um, Belarus, so it's taking a while. Um, I'm excited about that one. And then a baby I bought today. I can't believe it. Well, once I made that sale, <laughs> I made two sales in two days. And I made three sales last week, so I bought a baby. But... I didn't spend a lot and it's one that I missed out on and I really wanted and um, I actually have had in my collection twice and that those particular dolls uh, weren't right for me so I had to sell them but I always wanted that sculpt so whatever. <laughs> I'm getting another baby. That was another eBay find, an incredible eBay find. So I'm staying off of eBay. Um, I've uh, got a court order now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm going to stay off eBay and off of Reborns.com. And um, I don't think I'm selling any others except for the Gabigail twins. If anyone is interested, you know, you can get in touch with me on Instagram or Facebook or even by email at sharacraig at hotmail.com uh, but they are listed on reborns.com and I think my collection is very good it's nice and I think I'll have I think I'll have somewhere around 33 babies if the Gabigail twins stay um, and that's a lot I mean, I had hoped to get it down to 20, but who will I sell? I don't know who I would sell. Of all the babies I have here, there's no one I would want to sell <laughs> other than the Gabigail twins, and that's only because they're very difficult for me to change the texture of their skin. They are varnished, but the type of varnish that they have um, is difficult for me to change. Clothes, clothes don't glide over them smoothly. They... You have to kind of pull them on and I can't do that. I just physically cannot pinch and pull. So um, that's the only reason I'm getting rid of them. They're beautiful and I love them, but um, you know, I can't keep dolls that um, don't work. I want to interact with them and they're not just here to sit and look pretty. Even my prototype, um, Sonia is getting changed every day and a new photograph taken of her um, outfit of the day. She's the only one I do that with, but um, anyway, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with where the collection is and I can't get down to 20 because I have more than 20 dolls that I'm totally in love with and would never want to get rid of. Um, and one is coming actually there's four that i haven't seen in person the two that my friend's making and you know one of those could be months down the road and then um well both of them will probably be at least a month or two um and then the one from belarus i'm not sure how long that's going to take and that one is an amazing doll and i I'm so fortunate. I was just on Facebook at the right time before someone snapped that baby up. And it was only because the original um, purchaser had failed to um, come through. Um, so at the time that this prototype was uh, put out there, 
um, you know, was snatched up right away because it's an adorable prototype. And I just got so lucky. And um, so that one I'm extremely, extremely excited about. So, um, and that includes those four babies. So 33 includes everybody. Uh, four that I haven't seen yet and the two Gabigail twins so anyway I'm so happy for these two little girlies to be here they're so pretty I love them so much I really love them both I, oh, and for such I mean for the same reason because they're both so unique um we have, you know, gummy, smiling um, babies, but I have Sonia, but she has closed eyes. It's just, she is so unique. And I just love that gummy grin. It's so sweet. And those eyes, you cannot pass up those eyes. And then the fact that she's done by this just amazing artist whose work sells for so much money. I, I just feel like the luckiest woman in this um, hobby right now. Um, so yeah, she's so beautiful. I am just in love with her. Her kit's still available. She is a limited edition, but her kit is still available. But to get one from this artist, at the price I got her is, and she was a custom, I'm blown away. I am absolutely blown away. So welcome Pepin to the nursery and welcome Ruthie back from her vacay. And we are super happy to have both these beauties back here. And we hope that Charlie gets better soon him's back there still sweeping look at him pixie's laying right with him on his blankie he's got his bear and he's sleeping pretty good because he didn't even wake up at all while i've been recording so i welcome these two with my whole heart and i thank you all so much for joining me as we welcome them here and i hope i see you guys soon and i will definitely see you in the next video i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and i send you all wishes of love and light take care bye